Good morning. I'm over here on Smoky Lane in Surprise, Arizona slash Sun City area. Getting ready to do a headshot session and really a discovery session with one of my clients to finalize the website, get some photos up, and you know finalize his online profile. And I wanted to share really what I was doing earlier today. I'm involved in a men's group that meets every Thursday morning. Today is, ends up being on a Wednesday because of the holiday. We really talk about life, talk about what the expectations are as men, you know, for us, um, how we can influence the world and influence our families and just be better versions of ourselves. So this morning we were really talking about being convicting and holding each other accountable. And I think as, as an inner circle of men, it's easy to do when you have your pals, your buddies, or your best friends around you all the time and saying what's on their mind and helping you by giving you constructive criticism. But how do we lead as men or hold other men accountable without being demeaning or convicting or telling them how bad of people they are? I think this world needs more men, especially with the Christian faith, with men of God, to be more encouraging, to be more loving, to be more understanding in moments like those, not necessarily stick our chest out or put our chin up as if we're better people. You know, as our duties to lead our families and change the perspective of God really in this lost nation, you know, it's up to us to lead the charge and get to know people, get to know what they're going through, see if there's a way that we can help and really try our best to not approach them with a demeaning tone that can push them away from the help we could supply them with, but also push them away from being the man or woman that they can be. Everybody needs a chance, everybody's worthy, and a lot of us don't feel worthy enough to make a difference, make a change, or be somebody, or to influence other people. In reality, it just takes that faith, that personal foundation, and being able to give it all to God and let Him really direct your footsteps. But we need to be able to nudge people in the right direction, and then also be able to hold them accountable, but in a more of a loving and encouraging way. It's just my thoughts today, I guess a little wisdom on Wednesday, and and hopefully that can encourage some of you to step outside your shell and, and to be the leaders that you're meant to be.